Thanks for clicking on today's video. If you're new here, my name is Erica, and today I want to talk to you about my heart valve tick. I have a mechanical heart valve. They did open heart surgery in November of 2020, and they replaced my mitral valve with a mechanical bi-leaflet valve. It's really cool because it makes a ticking sound like a clock does. And so I do have a playlist here on my channel where you can hear my heartbeat and it's interesting. And if you're in an elevator with me or a quiet room, you're going to hear it. And it's a quirk and it was something that took me a lot of willpower to get over because I received my heart disease diagnosis in August of 2020 and it felt like a whirlwind of emotions. It was really hard for me to come to terms with my diagnosis and I had to make a lot of tough decisions and then to have all of that and constantly have a reminder that I have a mechanical prosthetic valve inside me. It's absolutely outrageous to imagine that my life is now dependent on this mechanical machine inside my body and I have to take blood thinners every day and because it was a mitral valve I'm on warfarin which has to have anywhere from a weekly to a monthly blood test which means my poor veins are starting to go but having this mechanical valve is a constant reminder because I always have that ticking in my ear. After surgery the ticking was so loud. just droned into my ears. I couldn't go to sleep. It kept me up all hours of the night. And even now when I'm talking about it, the ticking, it vibrates all throughout my throat, in my ears, through my mouth. And it's the constant new soundtrack of my life. And you might hear a little ticking in the background of some of my videos and think it's a clock. No, <laughs> it's my heartbeat. And one of the biggest questions I had after open heart surgery is how long is this ticking going to last? Am I going to be for the rest of my life with this constant ticking in my ears? And everybody online was saying that after a while you just don't notice it anymore. But <laughs> I'm over a year out from my heart surgery and it's still a very prevalent part of my life. I'm constantly hearing it. But now it's become less scary and it's more reassuring because it's a very audible way for me to hear what my heart's doing. And just people in my life, they can hear my heart when it's starting to speed up too much, which helps when you have a fainting disorder. But they always say, you know, it kind of goes away and you don't notice it anymore. It hasn't been my experience. I still constantly hear my heart valve ticking but I'll keep you guys updated if the ticking ever goes away. But for now, it's still a pretty big soundtrack in my life. Let me know if you have any other questions about my rheumatic heart disease and why I got a mechanical heart valve, and maybe I'll make a video answering your questions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.